Learn how to cook with Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Today is cooking day. Ready for a new culinary trip? We're traveling to Mexico. <laughs> exactly. Because today we're going to cook a really simple and yummy dish. Fajitas. Haven't heard of them? Don't worry. I'll show you how to make them. Hey guys, would you like to learn how to cook any other dishes with Eddie? You can tell us in the comments. Let's begin. Do you know why they're called fajitas, Eddie? <laughs> it's because they're made on maize tortilla, like this one. And it wraps the filling. The first thing we have to do is warm up the tortillas. In the meantime, let's prepare the rest of the ingredients. Check out all of the stuff we can add. We'll saute them in a frying pan so that they are properly cooked. Which vegetable would you like to eat today, Eddie? Sweet pepper! So yummy, Eddie! Do you remember when we colored in that picture and learned that there are three different types of them? We had such a good time! Today we only have red peppers, so... In the frying pan they go! Come on, Eddie! Pick another one! Courgette! Great! It's one of my favorite vegetables! What's yours, Eddie? Aubergine? Hmm, I hadn't thought of that, but it's really yummy! And it'll be perfect for our fajita! Do you know what other ingredient goes great with every dish? Onions! You're a fantastic chef, Eddie! <laughs> Uh, right on time! The tortillas are ready! <laughs> Let's pick them up with the oven mitt so as not to burn ourselves. Mmm, they smell amazing! Great! Now we turn off the cooker. And we now add the filling. My mouth is watering! What is it, Teddy? Do you want to add anything else? Mmm, cheese! Such a good idea! The fajitas are warm, so the cheese will melt! <laughs> I also thought of something else we can add! I'm sure our guacamole recipe will be perfect! A little bit for yours... And a little bit for mine! Perfect! Now we just need to fold the fajitas and... Let's dig in! So, do you like it? <laughs> bon appetit, Eddie! That was a great game, Eddie! It was a narrow win for you! That three-pointer you scored at the end was dynamite! I think I've worked up an appetite after all this exercising! What kind of snack would you like? <laughs> you really have a sweet tooth! And how about some fruit? You need some vitamins now that the cold is here. Eddie, strawberry cakes on fruit, they're sweet. But you've just given me an idea. What do you say we make toffee apples? They're really yummy and they're typical Christmas treats. By the way, guys, have you thought of what you'd like to give Teddy for Christmas? You can tell us in the comments and we'll give him your presents on the 25th. All right. Turn on the cooker, ready? Let's start by making the caramel. <laughs> this is a special type of caramel, so we're going to need a few ingredients to make it. Aside from water, we'll need sugar, which is essential for making caramel. And now we add some corn syrup. We're going to follow the American recipe to a tea. You'll see, it's going to be great. And lastly, a pinch of red food coloring, so that the sugar is the same color as the apples. We can start preparing the apples while the caramel cooks. First, we have to remove the stems. Let's see... Where do these go? That's right, Teddy! This is food waste, so it goes in the organic waste bin. Okay, now we have to put the apples on a stick so as to not get messy. But where could we find some? Great, Teddy! Those are perfect! Where did you get them? 
<laughs> They're from when we had Chinese food for dinner. <laughs> I hope you've washed them. <laughs> the caramel is ready, Eddie. Now comes the best part. It's when we dip the apples in caramel. We have to do it right away, because the caramel cools down and grows hard quickly. It smells amazing, doesn't it? Can you think of anything else we should add? Rainbow sprinkles! Great idea, ready? All right, let's dig in! And you guys, don't forget to tell us in the comments what you'd like to give Teddy for Christmas. It's just around the corner. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey.